So this is going to be the podcast that could go in the most directions, I think, out of all the CT5s we've done, because we intentionally have not clarified this. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is the one, this is like MVP voting in the NBA, right? You say, what's most valuable? And the NBA says, whatever most valuable means to you. So th this is the same vein, right? All the makings. What does all the makings mean? Like, whatever all the makings means to you. I do fear what I told me. Like, I don't love my OLIs and I don't mm -hmm. have a deep list. You don't have do a deep list? Really? I do love my top five. I do love my top five. Like, I, my top five, I've, it has all the makings of I mean, a great list. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Almost every movie that we've done is that's all the makings. Did that's I do this wrong? There is um, no wrong. That's exactly the yeah. point. Also, this is this came from something you said. So I feel like you have the most leeway to yes. dictate the terms. And really, it's me and Zach who are misinterpreting your language that could lead to doing it wrong. I may I change a lot on wrong. the fly as we go through this list. As we start doing it, I may change a lot. I may start writing things down. I, I don't totally know. Oh, wait, I didn't put that on the list. Oh no! I gotta. I gotta I'll, I'll be. I'll be per perfectly honest. I'm still typing, <laughs> fucking movie names. <laughs> no movie names. Yeah, aren't what? we picking movies that had all the makings of a cinephobe movie? Or what are we doing? Unbelievable. <laughs> no, it? it was never defined. What do you mean unbelievable? Just, it, Un just do whatever your list is. Just do it. So that, do these, are, these are two different episodes within uh, one episode. We already did last. Last CT five was already. Whatever me liked. Not Hold on. The plot what did you guys just do? Did, he just did Golden Dumpsters for. What did you guys do? What did you guys do? What are the components that have all the ma that make up yes. all the makings of a great cinefo movie? Like the what texture, would make a great the cinefo flavor, movie? The color, That's the not consistency. Not what not what would you do? Movie. You just said you you're writing down names of movies. I didn't. Yes. I, there's not a fucking name of a movie in my goddamn list. You're saying what are all the movies hey, that have all the, the makings? Literal fuck. I didn't mean literally the name of a movie. Da, 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 da. I'm saying I'm li li listing the names of the movies that have I'm, all the makings. I'm going off what you just said. God damn it, shit. but like, just use a brain. One, how, one, use how did, like, one, like, one, one, how small does, percentage do we of your have brain. a better help? Do we have a better use help sponsorship? some of your brain. Burn that one calorie. I swear to God, it what, won't hurt. What I swear is, to God, it won't put you into rigor mortis. Yeah, I, I no, no, no. swear to fucking God. No, you, I mean, I, I, I swear, like, I swear to God, if you learn how to fucking you communicate in the slightest. Like, what happened? If, if you had, a, take if you had an ounce you of accountability in you that, for oh what God, you said. My brain actually can do some work without me falling into a coma. All right, everyone. For sure. for, no, for Jesus sure. I mean, one, one time you guys. No, I know. No, no, no. This is on us. One totally reasonable for you to fly off the handle at almost nothing. Absolutely. Two, yes, absolutely. No, you don't need better help at all. At all. Um, no, I don't. That's, I need no, worse help. I you literally this said there's help, no wrong get it answer. Away from no, no, better help you is therapy. You can do whatever you want. You, don't, like, you definitely don't need therapy if that <laughs> set you off just even a I little. I need the best help. I don't mind. need better help. This you, is better you, help right here. You need help that doesn't exist. That isn't possible. Yeah, that's right. For fixing humans. <laughs> Two. He needs, he needs Pluto TV better you just help. Said, hey, man. You just said, I, <laughs> I'm... I'm writing down movies that have all the makings. I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with the episode we're doing? Are you serious? <sighs> Maze is with me on this, so I feel like you're are in the... You, wait, you're, are you you're, you're, serious right well, now? Uh, I mean, the way that you framed it was that your list is going to be movie. Like, number movies with all five the is a movie. Yeah. OLI That's is a movie. Like, listen, listen to the episode in six months or whenever the fuck this comes out. And you will understand <laughs> the confusion. Actually, right you now. won't because you have no <laughs> sense of accountability. <laughs> and you'll never take responsibility for anything. You'll just find a way to pivot, like Roadhouse. What, what was your, what, what, uh, randomly, what's, give me one that's on the cutting room floor for you. Give me a, an entry on the cutting room floor. You'll find out in my OOS. No, 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 do it right now. Do it right now. I'm no, not asking you. No, no, I, no, no, I choose not to. I choose not to. I choose not to. Right now. Give it to no. me. This was the point. No, no, no. The point was to do it right now. You've been, you've been so reasonable in this conversation that I, that I feel the need to not do it. How off I am by naming movies. You'll find out in about 35 minutes. Are you going to name find the out name about of 35 pigeons? minutes? What are you going to name? Why Family is members? Shirt? What are you going to name? Why is this shirt name? a paternity test? Yeah, what are you going to name? Come on, Maury, what are you going to name? <laughs> give me a give me one. Give me I'm not asking for your list. I'm I'll give you seven in order and then I'll give you the ones that didn't make it. After I just that. need one that's not 
in your list right now? Anyone? No, I'm good. Anyone entry? Oh, you're good. Do your little intro. Do your little intro. Good then. Do your little I intro. I guess we're all good then. Yeah. Do your little intro. Hey guys, <laughs> we're sucking our own dicks today. CT5. That's what we no, do. No, today Zach is sucking my dick. God Stay damn. tuned for the YouTube Bob audience. Dude. It gets real it. graphic. God, Can't Bob find it. Dicks, damn. Go ahead, Zach. Lead us off. That's the intro. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, give intro. me your, give me your <laughs> magical OLI that's gonna blow my mind. Like, oh, I've been doing a roll with the whole here, time. Here, Go here's, ahead. Yeah. What you, interesting what is you say. Oh interesting you phrase it that way. Considering I literally told you, oh, I don't feel confident in my OLIs, and you're like, oh, the OLIs are gonna blow me away. No, you need to learn how to fucking listen. Give me, give me, give me. You need to learn how to listen. I asked you to give me something that wasn't on your list. You refused. I asked you to give me something that wasn't on your list. You refused. You refused yep. to give me something that wasn't on your list. I wanted to make this nice and easy. You don't want to make it easy. So let's make it hard. All the makings of a difficult CT5. How about that? Oh, oh, that? Okay. Yes. One through five? I mean. Congrats. All the makings. Yeah. There you go. Yes. All the makings yes. of a difficult episode. All Maze has the same list. Now what what's your list? Lies? I mean, what are the still a bag you. of tools. It's still oh, you. I, I, amazing. I'm, you I'm being late. You being late. How about okay. that? I'm late? No, fifteen. Th that has you that has all the makings. That is all the makings of a bad episode. You being late. I'm late. That's, That's what I was. I was late. <laughs> you, you were earlier, I was late actually. when I actually, showed up were, right on time. You were earlier for the what? earlier episode. You were yeah. That's not. We're talking about this episode. No, no, no. You said all the makings for a difficult episode. <laughs> this one was the last one. Was going off your words to me because I wasn't late for this one. So this one, this one, it must be an easy. All the makings of a of a bad episode. A mean being unnecessarily difficult and. All, all the makings of a, of, a, of a bad episode, Zach being super reactionary and fucking like uh, literal about a, a third of a word that Amin said. I How about that? I not think either of us critiqued what you were doing. We were just no. trying to figure out what it we, was. And yeah. then you Based on the thing that you said, and you what I flew said off was the pretty fucking handle. It's not contradicted what? at all with what, what you ask, did, is my point. Look, okay, let me ask this question. This is a real question, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you think you said? I know exactly what I said. I said, I'm still writing down names of movies for this mm -hmm. list. Yes. Now, I know how a bingo could interpret no, 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 that no, as... Not, but wait, wait, wait. I mean, that's not all you said, though. You said something what after I, that. What did you what say? What did I say? Enlighten you tell me, me what what did you I said say? you know exactly what you said. I did. I just told you what I said. Maze clip it. Say it. Because I no, can't no, no. hear it I, until... No, I'm going I'm I'm to have you... I'm going to have you... figure this one out. Yeah, I'm going to have you wait until you listen to the episode. Whatever. This idea is just straight up bad. That algorithm is busted. It's among the worst ideas I've ever heard. Top five, easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of broke the scene, y'all. So all I got is five. I got five. Welcome to CT5. Fuck it. Start the list. You're number one. Go ahead. Podcast for well, no, I'm going to do my OLI. Explodes. I'm not going to do my number one first. No, no, no. Do, do whatever the fuck that makes you happy. These guys continue to talk over me. Do whatever makes you happy. Get this Go ahead. Started. This came from Movies We Wish Qualified. I mean, would start off a couple of his picks by saying it has all the makings of a cinephobe classic or some variation of that sentence. Mm -hmm. And so an incredibly quick order we flip that around as we turn that into its own ct5 because that's yeah. just how this shit works over here and then as you've clearly heard no one knows what the fuck that means so and, and here we one are. of us is is very reasonably angry about it very I'm, reasonably I'm angry. reasonably angry because you you leapt to a weird ass fucking conclusion that I'm not even entirely certain why you would leap to that conclusion instead of just which saying, is weird because you know exactly what you said so I know exactly that, what I said. I said what I said. I said, well, said part of I'm, what you still, said. I'm still, I'm still, but you need to tell me. Otherwise, shut the no, fuck no, no. up about it. One or no, two. No, no, you know, no, you shut know the fuck about it. Then shut the fuck up about it. Then shut the fuck up about it. I don't think I will. I don't think you know, I will. Well, I think, well, I think you yeah. should shut the fuck up about it. Well, I don't then think I guess I will. we're just, we're going to be caught in this infinite loop. I, aren't we? Yeah. Aren't cause we? you need, cause you need unreasonable help. Yeah. Never back there. That's, that's, that's our new sponsor. Promo code. What the fuck? I mean, Okay, so this is going to be First a, a journey. All I know for sure is that whatever is on your guys' list, it will have the texture, the flavor, the color, the consistency that definitely makes it a cinephobe movie. 
Oh, that's actually another. I'm going to put that as a lie. Not what you exactly what you just said, but. No, no. I guess we'll wait months to hear that one, huh? No, probably about 35 minutes. Okay. Oh, we're going to wait 35 minutes to hear that? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not going to make my list, but I do want it on the list. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. OLI, number one. Force tension that they wish was there, but unreasonably is not because they don't know how to <laughs> develop any kind of interaction between two lovers. So is that... Hi, sweet Annie. Hi, sweet Annie. But we, I mean, okay. it is like, it's the Who's That Man Award. It's all this yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. stuff, right? Like some kind of relationship that just is not Two there. actors that are supposed to have some kind of relationship. We, we've probably had half the movies oh, include something like that, right? At minimum, half the movies where they're just like, here's the relationship you should believe in, whether it's father, son, mother, daughter, boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And it just, you're like, these people never Two met bitch before. husbands. <laughs> Two bitch husbands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I mean, I mean, what movie did you pick? You see how I didn't interrupt you when you were doing your dumb ass shit? <laughs> You see how that you didn't works? Start talking yet. You didn't start talking yet. You see how that works? Where I, I waited, I allowed you to say your shit. I gave there, you the room. There was a moment you, of silence even when you between paused, what May said. Even when you pa- hold on, you paused. You know you paused, right? You do realize you paused. There was silence. Nobody filled that silence because we knew Zach is about to start. So he said, mm-hmm. go ahead. Let him compose himself. Let him bring his thoughts together. We all did that. We respected mm-hmm. that space for you. See I'm how so that happy works? I don't edit these anymore. See how that works? Yeah, I want everyone <laughs> uh, to hear this uh, shit. Uh, uh, well, I want yeah, everyone I, to hear uh, yeah. what the fuck I have to deal with. Where well, I just literally yeah. sit down and fucking <laughs> like for no reason, for no reason, because Zach woke up today in a fun mood. I'm funny, <laughs> Zach. Great, but... I'm in a fun mood. Let me fuck with him in a little bit. Maze, we've done two previous podcasts before <laughs> this one in the last couple hours. I've been in a pretty good mood in all those, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, pretty happy. Funny pretty Zach. happy. Go lucky. Just funny, Zach. You know, just hanging out. Mm-hmm. On podcasts. Yeah. This is incredible. I mean, what's your OLI? I mean, OLI, all the makings in, includes action, includes Liam Neeson, and includes a bingo. Any combination <laughs> of those, it's called the Ice Road. That has all the makings of a great cinema movie. If you tell me this movie has action, has Liam Neeson, and has a bingo, I'm in. You, I don't need you, to hear anything else. You know what's phenomenal? <laughs> and I know this is going to cause a reaction in Maze. I'm sorry. It's exactly what we questioned. Before the, before flying off the head, we're like, wait, so, hold on so, a second. So, so again, let me go back to, hey, what did you guys do? For, well, da, 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 da. well, okay, well, I'm just saying, like, this is the stuff, right? What, give me one of your entries so I can compare and contrast. Nope, you're gonna uh, have to hear it. Nope, you're gonna have to just listen. Nope, one through five is me. Nope, blah, 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 blah. like, we could do this like fucking gentlemen, or we could do it like assholes. You chose the asshole route. So, guess what? A big asshole is here. You could drive a Mack truck through it. Are you Would okay? you say that memory qualifies for that? Is his yes. is his brother? Yes, his brother is a bingo of a certain kind. <laughs> Qualified. So yeah, I mean, bingo is a loose term, bingo. so I think that so counts, far, yeah. so far, it's bingo brother. <laughs> it doesn't need to be necessarily a relative. Doesn't yeah. need to be a brother. Taken two. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there? Well, the I mean, ch- the daughter does throw the grenades at a. At a, at a, at a <laughs> Does the car. panda? Does the panda count in taking? No, the panda's not <laughs> a bingo. Are you kidding me? Panda's a hero. By the way. Bingo is not like none. All of these are interchangeable, right? There's a list of things that has all the makings of a cinephobe movie. Now you can jaw, gra- grab several ones from that list and create a cinephobe movie, but not necessarily all mm. of them need to be present. Right. Okay. So my first OLI, all the makings include anything that a mean can turn into tension, horniness, or misogyny. That's literally anything in any movie we've ever done. He's an alchemist of misogyny. That's even the movies that are over 40%. You know, every movie we can find it. Wally. I bet he could do it with Wally. Oh, yeah. What's Wally? The robot oh, the Pixar movie. Man. Gotcha. Wally. All those fatties yes. in the chair, Zach? Are you kidding me? The bitch so robot. much tension going on there. <laughs> Eva? 
Oh, that bitch robot Eva? <laughs> <laughs> OLI number two. One word. Terrorism. <laughs> Terrorism. I mean, whether it is yep. knowing, taken two, taken three, any Wait, of these movies. Knowing? Knowing he Googles terror. He like oh, terrorism is a part it. of it. The Not even next, necessarily terrorism. Okay. Terrorism is a as foundational as almost anything that has come across in film movies. Cats. Terrorism of a pick. Passenger 57. Hot Rod. Terrorism to comedy. Uh-huh. You know? All that stuff. Oh, it's a comedy <laughs> now. It's so a terrorism to comedy. comedy. <laughs> Wait, it tried terrorism to be? To- it yeah. wasn't comedy. It was terrorism to comedy. Got right? Just like okay. Kevin James, just like, terrorism to comedy. Just like the 9-11 hijackers weren't buildings, they were terrorism right. to buildings. <laughs> exactly. Two buildings, literally. Two. One, two. <laughs> My OLI number one, or number two, I never know how this works. You need definitely a death to a central character. Mm. You need montages mm. and you need a misspelled license plate it's rocky four <laughs> all the makings of a cinephobe movie or cobra well i, I got a variation of that or, i added my own spice to that that all the makings and it'll come back up later <laughs> my oli my other oli all the makings means any movie that presents a racism problem for Zach to solve. That's right. Soul Man, White Man's Burden, The Toy, Amos and Andrew, Carbon Copy. Just to name a few. That is on my list. I'll let you know when. Mm-hmm. Number five. An absurd accent that we think someone is intentionally doing, or maybe it's just their voice. We don't know. <laughs> Wow, she straddled but, both. But an, an accent can take us a long fucking way through a movie, and it makes movies... Qual- I mean, you think about White Man's Burden, right? The reason... like what One, the premise, but two, the accent is why that movie falls apart for critics, right? It's... I mean, we just rewatched it. Whoa, it's what? Raci- it's racist as For fuck. critics? <laughs> critics, audience, whatever. Like, whoever's critiquing it... It's racist as fuck, and the accent does not help sell the movie. It sells it to us, but not the movie. Let me, can I may I ask, Zach? It seems sure. like your list is just ranking awards. No, 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 no. It's not. What's the difference? Well, you'll well see he said he didn't list, like yeah. his OLIs as much as he likes his list. So, so but that's now we're well, into we his don't list. have a that terrorism award. Five. We don't have a terrorism award. That's a, that's fair. Yeah, but the, the the okay, that's fair. All right. See how that works. A reasonable conversation, a question, answer, clarification. What, what the fuck oh, are you asking okay. me? What, why did you just wait for my list? Why did you wait for my list? Why are you asking me a question? This is so like, a, God, you're so fucking stupid. You just wait what? and use your ears for one goddamn minute. You can find out that what my list is and what it makes up, and it's not just awards. You see how I, annoying I asked, that is? I asked a I question, asked question as opposed to, I asked a question as opposed to just random assumptions being made and attacks. Ass this on you, ass off me. Sides. This Whatever. podcast has changed yeah, sides real quick. Sides, yeah. that, was, that was fantastic. I'm glad you're not in control of all the clocks in Chicago. That's all I have to say. <laughs> but that's not my number five. No. My number five is, as we mentioned earlier, the presence of bingo is a strong, a, a bingo hey, presence. Bingo. Strong sign for a cinephobe movie. But when it can be multiple bingos, dare I say it, almost the entire cast are bingos. Now <laughs> you're on some you're on to something special. But you know what takes it over the top? Because it's not quite a cinephobe movie, it's just a bunch of bingos running you around. You turn your hat backwards? Nope. You need an annoying voice that Maze will do and repeat over and over in the movie. It's the Pie Bye Man. <laughs> Perfect cinephobe movie. I, it doesn't even matter that we all phobed it. It's the perfect cinephobe movie. I would argue most movies that we phobed unanimously end up being kind of perfect cinephobe movies, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. It, it just can't be boring. I mean, I'm, I tried to make sure. that like Venn diagram or the the chart. It's like as long as it's if it's terrible but it's entertaining, that's a good cinephobe movie. If it's driven. Not necessarily no. the best. Well, that, was a, that, was, that wasn't a unanimous phobe, so it doesn't matter. But it was boring. 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I mean, not when Gina was on the Okay. Screen. All right. So now my first, my, my little eyes are like, that's one thing. All right. Now this is, now we're getting into a, a stew. We got a stew going here with these next couple picks because my number five, Zach kind of touched on it, but you got John Travolta. Okay. And then you got a wig. You add a wig to that mix, mm. and now now we're cooking. Okay, Didn't make the cut, but yes. But but you know what puts it over the top? What's that? Over the top? An accent, and that's oh. Battlefield Earth, Gotti, the fanatic, Killing Season, Poison Rose, White Man's Burden, all of the above. His hair is different. His voice is different. You know it's not different. John Travolta bringing the heat. Johnny T, man. How many Don't. times have you been on? Ten? <laughs> yeah. Ten time club? Yeah. He's a ten timer. <laughs> what was, but, what's the one we just had? The clip was like, who the hell? Who the hell? All them years. All them years. I'm still the delivery boy. All them years. All them years. Down at the factory and I'm still the delivery boy. Just the fucking reddest hair that's ever existed. <laughs> Uh, I, like he got like fired, if I'm not Rufio. mistaken, for for being a a peeping tom, right? An actual oh, yeah. peeping yeah. tom. Yeah, he stumbles yeah, into yeah. the backyard and and catches a w- glimpse of uh, Thaddeus's yeah wife's beautiful titties. But oh, I like to God. imagine, like uh, <clears throat> you know those coloring books or those picture books that had like three strips of different characters, and you flip through and you make yeah. like a, a chicken head with a yeah <laughs> well, a chicken yeah. head. Uh, wow. A dinosaur head with a chicken body oh, and like thanks. dolphin tail. <laughs> That's what I want for John Travolta <laughs> with all of his characters. Yeah. Just to mix match his wig, his what accent. Would be, what and wig, everything what else. wig would you go with? What accent would you go with? And what? Give me Turl with Lewis Pinnock's accent. Turl from Battlefield Earth. Yeah. You want that head? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I want. And Moose's mo- body on a scooter. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I want Moose's hair. Well, now I'm torn because I either want, I either want Gotti with Loose Pinnock's voice, or I want Gotti with Moose's voice. No, I want Moose with with Carson Phillips' voice. Oh man! I'm a Dunbar. I'm a PI. <laughs> uh, all right, my number four. Mm-hmm. Maze mentioned it earlier. Racism needs to be solved, and I will solve it someday. <laughs> Racism needing to be solved is a staple of Cinephobe. And it's, I think, even before we recognized we were trying to eradicate racism through our picks and through ascertaining these movies, is I think it was still prevalent. I, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Oh. I'm just honestly trying to get rid of racism. I don't know about you guys trying to perpetuate it. I don't know if you are, but I know I'm not. My number. Four is, uh, let's see, this is what you need for a great cinephobe movie. You need some comedy. We like to laugh. We, you know, notice many of these movies that we have that are great cinephobe movies bring a little laughter. They bring the people together, right? We need also a nightlife establishment, a bar or Something of that sort, right? Because we like to do our taffer stuff in there. Mm-hmm. It allows us to fit that in. Also, we like songs. We like things, not musicals, mind mm-hmm. you, cats, right. go fuck yourself. But, but a we good do score, like a good soundtrack. Good score, good soundtrack, good soundtrack exposition. And, of course, we like wolves, particularly wolves that are dragging the dead body of the mayor in the street. <laughs> it's a million like ways to die with the West in the West. <laughs> All the makings of a great cinephobe movie. I don't know, we like wolves. I, I you know. No, we like I thought wolves. you were talking about Ridestone until the fucking. No, wolves I thought he was talking about. Back. I thought he was talking about fuck cocktail. I was trying to figure out how is he going to tie this duck. one together. Yeah, all those things. You know, all the makings. All the makings. All the makings. Okay. All right. My number four. This is a recipe that will work in just about any movie. I'm very interested in this formula. In cinephobe movies, beyond cinephobe movies, it follows a pretty straightforward narrative structure that has usually the same beats, but you don't really care because if everybody's doing their job good enough, it works. You've got a rising star, okay? You've got someone who's on the come up. Yeah, Jim Carrey. 
burning real bright, but not the next Jim Carrey. Oh, oh. the actual Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Oh, 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 because he's gonna he's gonna An succeed. actual star. Someone he's gonna to become succeed. a star. Got it. And then what does that star need? Needs a mentor. Needs someone mm-hmm. who's been there before. Uh-huh. Needs someone to teach them the ways. You know, maybe pushing back their hair with their hand, like Sam Elliott and Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. And then you need a dame. Just cut it out. That's all. That's no way to talk to a dame. You need a broad who comes into the rising star's life and maybe she's there for him when he needs her, when he's having a, a struggle, a setback in his journey. And then you need a villain. You need a bad guy. You need somebody who's going to talk shit to your rising star. Maybe or Reynolds. Maybe intimidate someone. Burt Reynolds. And so that applies to Roadhouse, <laughs> Cocktail. And in Cocktail, is Coglin the mentor and the villain? And villain, yes. yes. yes he is. Which is an incredible achievement in its own. The Water Boy is like that. Time Cop. The mentor is a little weak, but Matusak is kind of the, the mentor, a mentor there. He spent half the movie trying to figure out if we're best friends, yeah. I never fucked my wife. Yeah, when are you, you going to finger blast my wife if we're best friends? Like this Judge is- Dredd. Judge Dredd, you got you got Sloan oh, as Dredd. You got Judge. Yeah. Max von Sydow is the mentor. You got mm. Diane Lane. You got Armand Asafte. Harlem Knights. You got Eddie yep. and Richard Pryor. You got a dame. Mm. You got Bugsy. Two for nipple the money. You, you got a dame that goes straight for the nipple. Yep. Insane. Absol- How are you guys still not, not over this? You guys just accepted that as like, that's fine. I accepted yeah. that as that's what Eddie Murphy likes. Wanted. Like yeah. He wrote and directed it that's and starred nuts. in the scene. Is that what I like? No. But I mean, no I mean, king shaming. Let him do his thing. I will king Two for the money is another classic example of this. <sighs> Although, yeah. again, the, the dame he, situation... Well, is that more also, confusing. The mentor and the villain are one and the same, right? No, mm-hmm. no, no. The villain is Armand Asafte again. Is he? No, the he villain is. In, uh, he comes in at the, the end is and he's, he's threatening Pacino, McConaughey. He's beating no, him up in the park. He's pissing no, on him. Pacino is is fucking up the world that he has brought him into. I think. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a malicious villain. Villain, but he's a villain. He's well, not. I think villain. he turns. I think he turns into a malicious villain at the end. And there's like more the tension between uh, between McConaughey and Rene Russo in that one than there is between whoever he ends up hooking well, up with. But yeah, there's more driven. tension between Pacino and McConaughey yeah. <laughs> than anything. Yeah. That's true. But yes, there's there's always that recipe. That's a recipe you'll see in a lot of movies that that don't qualify. And I'm always here for it. My number three. I mean, it's kind of mentioned this, but I'm going to simplify. Um, one of his picks. I think there's only one of these movies that I have phobed. You can correct me if I'm wrong. It just needs Liam fucking Neeson in the movie. It has all the <laughs> makings of a great cinephobe. Men in Black, that's the one that you phobed, I think right? that's the only one that I phobed, but uh, I mean, you, think about it. Memory, Blacklight. Oh, I, a million ways to watch the West, yeah. but, I, but I don't count that as a, as a Liam Neeson movie. That's not movie. a Liam Neeson movie. We, yeah. we, we talked about this before. Yeah, movies yeah, yeah. with Liam Neeson versus a Liam Neeson movie. Right. Exactly. Because Men in Black is not a Liam Neeson movie either. Like, like um, if it's a Liam Neeson is the star and it's following the Taken archetype. Guys, let me tell you right Zaxxon. now. I'm going to keep saying it. I can't pick it because I'm still canonizing, but Retribution. You fucking, oh. you guys have to I mean, watch it. Don't even, we don't even have, to, we don't have to review it. It's on my list. We don't list. have to review it. Just please watch it. <laughs> God, I'm not watching it till you guys make me. Why? Really? Oh no! I, no, come trust on. Me, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy. You'll truly enjoy it. Just recreation. What is, is that, your What is your deal with Liam Neeson? Why do you, Why do you like not embrace? Why? He's a genius. Good in the Taken franchise, and then it is extremely played out. We'll find out. We found out on the commuter. Maybe the commuter is still close enough to the source. We'll see. Is this coming up? We've done it. I don't feel confident of that timeline, man. So, he's a, I'm just saying, I'm, so good. I'm two for ten on Liam Neeson movies. Zach's eight for ten. Two, two for ten? Oh. Wait, which ones did you like? Four to two. Taking two Taking and three. Two and t- That's oh, it? Taking- yeah. Black Wait, light. You did, memory. You didn't like, you didn't like memory? The Bucks getting lost. I don't in remember. Uh, Rewatchington. <laughs> Just don't watch that. Rewatchington, but we watch it two times anymore. in a row. 
<laughs> Flip a coin for it. I mean, you're number three. Very close to your list, Zach. But instead of Liam Neeson, or your selection, but instead of Liam Neeson, replace that name with Paul Bettany. All the making. One of them was Listen a three-hour Da Vinci Code. <laughs> all of them. All the making. What's that thing you hated? Movie. Yes, I did hate Da Vinci Code, but that doesn't mean it wasn't it didn't have all That's the making no, of a simple movie. To be fair, this isn't about movies I like. This is about right all the making. Legion yes. was the one I had on my list here, yeah. but and it and it is all that when when we get horny by a character. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like I like it's not on my list, already, but like Pam Anderson, right? For me, yeah. Paul Bettany for a mean. All like, the, all the makings. Yeah. All, all the makings. makings. I'm with it. Yeah. All right. My number three. It kind of came up, but you left out some important ingredients. You left out you left out the, the meat and potatoes, if mm. you will. So you got you got sliced alone. Okay. That's mm-hmm. great. You got a license plate. You need one. You need mm. it misspelled. Yes. Misspelled, yes. It's important. You need a montage, of course. Of course, mm-hmm. it's a slice alone movie. What's a slice alone yeah. movie? <laughs> Does he have one without a montage? It's not all the makings if you don't have a robot no. in the fucking movie with Stallone and his weird '80s fascination with robots. Right? Did, how many movies did he have a robot in? There's a robot in Rocky Four. There's robots in Cobra. I'm counting. Oh, there's, there's a robot. A, there's a robot in, in Judge Dredd. Where's a the robot mm-hmm. pimp? Robot pimp That's is Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. Judge then, Dredd, the robot's the one that's serving spaghetti and beer, right? Or also, I mean, also the like soldier. That oh, the, the big, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Rockham yeah, yeah, Sockham robot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The Terminator, guy. yeah. Even though he hangs out with Armand Asafte. And then Rocky Ryan Stone, they shout out. Rocky Four, remember? Oh, he fucks the robot. Fucks, yeah. Fucks, yeah, you're right. That's my yeah. bad. <laughs> Apollo is, not Apollo, Carl Weathers is He's so like, alarmed. <laughs> This is Best not double take in cinema God history. God damn it, he's so asshole. Man. Trails off in the middle of his fucking sentence, <laughs> and then picks it right back up. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, with that, with never, never says a word about it though. It, it's just a look, a pause, and then back to what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's God, that's great. Uh, my number two involves an actor, but a specific time for this actor. I need this guy to be looking for work. I need this guy to be paying off tax debt. I need Nick Cage when he desperately needs a paycheck. Oh, yeah. That has all yeah. the makings of a cinephobe movie yeah. and a cinephobe classic, yeah. if I may. I was trying to come up with what the right formatting is for guess Nick what? Cage. There's probably at least 10 more of just that era of films yeah. that we could make great episodes out of. Like we're gonna do Drive Angry someday, and that's gonna be. Wait, a are we great talking episode. about Nick Cage in real life needing a, a check? Yeah, 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 or, yeah, needing yeah. a check, yes. Oh, not, I not think in the movie like, because in his character in many of these movies also is looking sure. for a check. National yes. Treasure, mm-hmm. uh, Snake Eyes, like a lot of these movies. He's, yeah, Ghost Rider, he's all, right? Like he's but, like needs to be like yeah. do this work for stuff uh, yeah. before he becomes a Ghost Rider. But yeah, like to me, it's the era in his oh, okay. real life where he needs he needs some checks. Got it. Got it. I had it in my OOLIs as Nicolas Cage losing his shit. Oh, God. That's, That's pretty what much I can come movie, up yeah. with. But I, yeah. I didn't have, like... Because his roles do not have consistently the same elements. No, because he's such a chameleon. He can do anything. And he doesn't need a wig and an accent I mean, to do the chameleon work. He just... Wow. <laughs> am, I, am I 15 for 16 on... Cage movies. Uh, I think Left Behind was yeah, the Left only behind. one. Fourteen for sixteen is what I have here, and the other Rewatch, one, re- Amos and Andrew. Oh, that's right. You filed Amos and Andrew. That's right. Oh, I phobed it. it. No, I it. it. Oh, yeah. So damn. Um, so you four, fourteen to sixteen. Mm-hmm. I might need to change that Left Behind because I think I'd watch it again. Well, you I mean, tried we- to rapture it on the. On the oh, I did rapture it. Oh no, that's fifteen for sixteen. A dishonest podcaster. No, 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 no. It makes me a showman. Also, Amin is two for 16. So On Cage movies. That's I do insane. find that... Yeah, that I is do your find Achilles that heel of Cinephobe. Which ones did he like? like? Cage. Ooh. Take... Um, I'm not taking... Um, next. I like Next. Gone in 60 Seconds? Did you like it? No, I did not like no. Gone in 60 Snake Seconds. Snake Eyes? You like Snake Eyes, Next, Snake Eyes and Next, I think, are the two. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Yeah. All right. Well... 
I'm at my, my number two, right? So s- certain themes that we named earlier. Bingos. No, I mean phobe next, just for the record. Did I? What was what was I'll try and figure it out. Keep going. Okay. Or like I said, having a litany of bingos, definitely part of all the makings of cinephobe. Terrorism. We mentioned that earlier before. Having a terrorist threat. All the makings. Thank you for your service. Also, oh. all the makings of a cinephobe movie. But perhaps nothing more exemplifies a cinephobe movie than one of us changing our pick or changing the order of our picks just to say fuck you to the other two. Oh, a spite pick? A spite pick. Yeah. Delta Farce is my number two. <laughs> fuck both of you. Wasn't on my list to start the day. After the the intro, after the cold open today, I slided it as I wanted to make it but number what, one. But how is that a I fuck wanted you so badly to make it number one, but I could not disrespect the number one on the list, so I made <laughs> it number two. Us doing the episode was a fuck you. You put it on your yeah. list. I could give yeah. a fuck. Like that's yeah. not a fuck no. you. You just you yes. fucked yourself. Yeah, no, I didn't. I feel, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I didn't. The, I'm fine. I, I like it. I'm fine too. I filed. <laughs> okay. I filed Delta. But, you don't, but Delta. you don't. You don't like that movie. I do. Okay. Well, what? there you go. I, 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 I file. It's not, I'm not changing it today. You guys know, you remember the episode. If you, if you don't, patreon.com slash count the things, make sure you're subscribed so you can get all those special edition episodes you know, that still haven't dropped. You know, well, speaking I, of Amin's spite pick fraudulence, his uh-huh. other Nick Cage movie that he filed is Jujitsu. So you can go ahead and take a <laughs> big old fuck yourself. I don't even remember. One. I don't even remember. Was I the only one that filed that? No, I'm the, uh, uh, Pablo filed it. Zach filed it. I don't That's know what movie. happened to that. It's that a was movie. a disaster. It's so much fun. Brax, Wait a second. So, what did I did I file it? Yes, everyone filed then, it but me. Well, why was that a spike on my on my part? If everyone else filed it, I was just saying I don't believe it. You th- why would why would I call I who was, every fucking Nick Cage movie? But why would that be the one? Why, why, why is would that, that be, the one? Why is that the one where on all what? of a sudden I'm spying? I enjoyed the movie. Pablo showed up. You're like, yeah, Pablo liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's like it's like Zach phobing Predator Two because Roy didn't like it. Oh like, yeah, that what? was that was the most dishonest. Roy moment. came out right off the rip. It was like phobe, but it's like what? No, Danny Glover sweating through his oh wool suit. <laughs> let the man, let the man live. El Scorpio. Damn man, what a what a movie that was! Predator Two was a great movie. Zach, you phob- you phobed it? Do you regret that one? Phobing it? No, yeah. no, no, no. It was it's not good. Like the action sucks. I want that. I want action in that movie. That it just there man. was action. El Scorpio that's was what, ready. That, that that's in the, that's in the first scene. That that's one of those like it's in the same vein as like Hook for me. You know, in that <laughs> I thought I loved this movie. <laughs> Maze and on like- re. I think and, on, I and on rewatch, I'm like, fuck this movie, man. Like, it's not as good as I remember it. All right. My number two. Now, this one, when I was putting the list together, I was stunned at both the simplicity and the efficiency of this, all the makings here. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a heist. Okay. There's a heist. You have people taking money. You have people stealing shit. You got a plan. I love it when a plan comes together. You got the crew, Mm. all of that. You got a car chase. And there's only one place that this car chase can go in Cinephobe history because the Cinephobe universe is only about 10 blocks wide. And that's across the downtown LA bridge. (laughs) You give me a car chase, a heist, and a downtown LA bridge, that's Swordfish. That's Horrible Bosses 2. That's Takers. That's Money Talks. That's taxi somehow <laughs> in New York. Despite being said in New York. Also yeah. Harlem Nights somehow. They get it in there. And then you got Virtuosity. You got Street Kings. All cinephobe classics. All going across the downtown LA bridge. We have almost universal appreciation of the downtown LA bridge. All it's, over 70% a, files on it. It's a great bridge. I went to, um, this was months ago, but I was downtown and I was coming back and I needed to cross a bridge and I started getting like really excited 
on my journey back and then realized, no, 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 I'm not on the downtown LA bridge. I'm on the other one. Oh. And then I looked to my, I think I looked to my left. And I saw the real one. I'm like, fuck man. I and fucked was it up. wearing a, was it wearing a trench coat? Like, uh, <laughs> you know donatello and teenage Union ninja yeah, it, it hid in plain sight man it just you know just sometimes you miss it zach what's your number one i think this is pretty obvious yeah. you give me a chimp an mm -hmm. ape as yeah. a central figure in yeah. the cast central figure in the story that has all the makings not just for a cinephile movie for a classic episode and an ass off <laughs> See, I, I thought I, I thought you would tack some other things onto it. I'm a little, a little no, surprised. I don't. I, I don't need other things attached to it. Like I just need a chimp or an ape, as he said. I watched the trilogy that, for Planet of the Apes this weekend, and I think yeah. I texted you guys at one point. Like I'm in chimp mode. I'm in full on chimp mode right now. Like I fucking <laughs> love chimps. I love apes. Like, I just do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Like, Zach's like Nick Cage in, in Ghost Rider, sitting yeah. in his trailer, just watching fucking yes. chips go at it on TV. Yeah, like I, it's something that I didn't realize within myself until it, we got into Cinefoot, where I'm just like, like I, and I look back on, it, I'm like, yeah, I love all these movies, but I didn't realize I was such a chimpaholic. Zach, if it weren't a chimp, if the central figure were a gorilla, like Amy, does that count, or does that lessen it, your it isn't as great, but I'm still into it. Like That's chimps are <laughs> chimps are going to always be top of the top for me when it comes to that. Yeah, Zach texted like us gorillas. about watching the first one. He watched I watched all three, baby. Gone. Man, and then he cool. said, You can't just watch one of these. I'm doing the trilogy today. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but it's a gateway drug. It was it was it was six favorite, hours of chips. My favorite clip was when Caesar says no for the first time, and Zach marveling at the gorilla in the background. Oh my god, the gorilla in the cage! Like, what the fuck just happened? That gorilla! Oh my god! It was. And by the way, like, if you haven't seen Dawn of the Apes, Caesar has been like injected with this, where his mom was injected with this medicine, so he's automatically a lot smarter. And mm -hmm. later on, he steals more of the medicine and makes all the other apes smarter. But at this point, he hasn't done that yet. Right, I believe he hadn't done it yet. So the guy gorilla is a regular gorilla reacting. He hasn't gotten the super super intelligence uh -uh. yet. No, he hasn't gotten the the mist of uh, the virus. That's a different movie. Oh, the mist, yeah. Gorillas, Gorillas. in the mist. Yeah. Also the the mist, or is it the fog? Actually, the fog. I think there are two. John Gorillas in the mist. The mist. I think there is the fog. Gorillas in the fog. No, 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 no. <laughs> just called the fog. That oh, movie just the, called the that's fog. That's the second Planet yeah. of the Apes movie when they go across the Golden Gate yeah. Bridge. <laughs> Oh, I mean, all right. I love chimps. All right. My number one, Zach loves chimps. I love Carl Weathers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Carl Weathers, and then give me an eye candy or two, perhaps. Yeah. Along give with me, Carl Weathers? Yes. Along, he, he along, qualifies. Yes, he does. And then also banter and great tough guy talk. Mm -hmm. Action Jackson is... My submission, the perfect cinephobe movie. Ooh. I don't, if I say Action Jackson, can you come up with, I'm not saying a better movie, a better movie for cinephobe. Ed. <laughs> I like how he thought long and hard. And, and said, yeah, yeah, it's going to come to mind our Ed or Lawnmower Man. I kept trying to, so I feel like, does Kid Sable count as a mentor? Or is it Arm Buster is the mentor? Because I, I don't think it quite fits into that. I don't one. think he's the mentor. No, I don't think. I think I think uh, Action Jackson needs no mentor. He doesn't need mentor. it. He's, he's he not a rising himself. star. He's just a star. He's already a star. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then if I tried to it, like come up with a police, all the makings or cop, rising star. All the, makings, the dude but, is a Harvard educated, decorated athlete who's. Weapons? Well, actually, You're okay. <laughs> he's the other one where it's like he's uh, he's actually he, you know he's in trouble already, right? Like they took his gun away. Did like, they? Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's oh, what it starts. He's gotten he, in trouble. He, like he's mm -hmm. he beat the shit out of uh, coach's nephew yeah. or something like that, right? So it's yeah. like the guy the guy who's fallen on hard times you, is a different. You broke, it, you broke his arm. 
He's got another He's one. Got He's got another spare. one. He's, yeah. Yeah, man. That motherfucker is so ass off. <laughs> uh, I, I would argue. Have you seen, by the way, I know we talked about this, but let me say it again. Have you seen the, the, the Super Bowl commercial or lead up Super Bowl commercial with Gronk and then like Carl Weathers shows up? No. The, the fan duel commercial for, you know, Gronk is doing the kick for a million dollars or whatever. Oh, I know he's doing that, but no, I haven't seen a commercial for there's it. A com- there's a commercial where he's like walking through the desert and he's feeling bad about missing the kick last year. And then Carl Weathers pops up on a motorcycle and excited chittering does not begin to describe how <laughs> my reaction, because he's, he's so ass off in the commercial, which next to Gronk looks even more magnificently ass off. Right. I, I would, I, real quick, because you said it, name a better cinephile. I would say Lawnmower Man because bingo. Yeah. Weird sex stuff. I don't know if weird sex stuff is necessary. I mean, seeing Sharon Stone's titties was enough for me. Sure. I mean, that's fantastic. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm here for I it. I don't need weird sex stuff at that point. I'm like, yeah. um, <laughs> is technology that is c- clearly outdated. Right, that car. Well, let me let me just cut you off right there. It's supposed to be a cutting edge car because that takes me to my number one. Okay, (laughs) which is depictions of the future and futuristic technology that is wildly inaccurate. I love that. One of my favorite ingredients: the timeline fax machine. The the car is in time cop. Yeah. The chubby scooters and the talking guns and everything in Judge Dread. Yeah. Literally everything about future sport. Literally everything about Escape from L.A. and Ghost no, of I mean, Mars. Future Sport had some things right. It, okay. All right. We'll come back to that later. All of the virtual reality and virtuosity and the lawnmower man, everything that that guy was up to. And then, you know, Michael Crichton, when when we get the part of disclosure that I wasn't expecting at all, where we go into the VR file system oh, but it's God. literally a library and you have to walk yeah. around and find the file it's not just there in the computer for you yeah mind-blowing shit i can't get enough of it i love how everybody's wrong all the time i love how wrong they are i could always use a piece of technology that doesn't make sense um yeah i i had 20 cb tech as as an option on my list uh but I like I <laughs> it makes me long for a simpler time in which I, I've you know, I there are times where I'm like, we've got too much technology and thinking about like all the VR stuff, like whether it's virtuosity, whether it's um, lawnmower man, anything. I, I just got a meta quest three. Really? I, I didn't pay for it. They sent okay. it to me. Who um, said it to you? Meta. World peace. Yeah. They sent it to me to like watch the All Star Game or something like that. I didn't know he was non-binary. Oh, he is. Trust me. What's uh, that? <laughs> super know that man. Please yeah. super that. <laughs> nah, it's already out of the bag. <laughs> um, but uh, but so I was like playing around with it, and it and I was like laughing so hard thinking about Lawnmower Man and Virtual mm-hmm. <laughs> like laughing mm-hmm. so hard while I was doing like I was messing around with it. Oh my god. I was really trying to it. pin down in la- in the episode two weeks ago. I was really trying to pin down the part of Lawnmower Man that was plot lift off, and I just couldn't quite do it because I it's think it's obvious. when he like starts ODing and he's like, "I saw God, I touched God," <laughs> but very, very, it could very easily be you know when he bangs Mrs. Burke for the first time or the touch, first whatever. Touch, touch God, touch God, touch God. <laughs> Cutting room floor. Let me. See. Started off here with a couple. Uh, so, <laughs> any, <laughs> it's stupid. This shit is so stupid. Any movie with a lot of banter, catchphrases, and TGTs. That's Tango and Cash. Mm-hmm. That's Eraser. That's Reindeer Games. Uh, <laughs> let's see, that's Double Impact. <laughs> How did Reindeer <laughs> Games that one get in there, launched yeah. in there? Yeah. It's got Coke and Pepsi, so. It's, it's got all the makings. Yeah. I'm surprised that wasn't number one on your list. No. Action Jackson. Cucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We love it. We love cucking. We sure do. We love yeah. to watch. We love to watch mm-hmm. it happen. We love to watch it. <laughs> we love to watch the watcher. Cuckception. 
I couldn't quite make this one work. A foreign director making their first American movie, a box office bomb, and CGI city. And that's pretty much Catwoman and Ballistic X versus Sever. Wait, uh, who's the who's the Catwoman director? Pitoff. Oh, Pitoff. <laughs> Pierre was in my head, but I, I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> uh, he was my, <laughs> I, I was on his. Um, I've got another one for you guys. Uh, this one follows the line of having lazy filmmaking, just like all around lazy, right? Just attention to detail, who gives a shit? So that's Tammy and the T-Rex, that's uh, Gotti, that's, uh, uh, yeah, remember Gotti, like Gotti, like having a, a Pitbull soundtrack for something that happened in, like, in the me. 80s. Yeah, all of Zach's top five songs. <laughs> Just lazy filmmaking. They just could not be bothered to do this right. Uh, little, I guess I expanded on it. Um, and you mentioned it a little bit, but to really boil down my terrorism pick, nine eleven. Yeah, nine eleven has all the makings of a cinephobe movie. That's the original. All the makings. Mm-hmm. Uh. Maze, I remember you saying something along the lines of someone being wronged and having to write that wrong, like they've been framed for something. Uh, yeah, or just like a cop who is in trouble, a cop who yeah. is past his mm -hmm. prime. I would mix into that a healthy dose of revenge. Revenge mm -hmm. being a big part mm -hmm. of it. Low down, dirty shame. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have revenge heist or revenge crime as an option, kind of along those lines. White man's burden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is this is super obvious. John Claude Van Damme, the splits, partial male nudity, and a roundhouse kick. So a John Claude Van Damme movie. I had I had John Claude Van Damme and Bolo Young. Oh, all well, the makings oh, yeah. together. Yeah, yeah that's, together. That's all, cheating. That's all the <laughs> that is all the makings of a super <laughs> movie. You get you get that. You're getting a super file. Like that's not even. I thought that would be on a means list. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw that down in the mm -hmm. to make the cut. Um, this one's weird. Uh, it's very kind of nebulous, but I, I hope you guys will follow me down this path. Being a 0% movie that clearly, clearly deserved way more than 0%. I'm not saying it didn't deserve to qualify for yeah. cynical. So Johnny B. Good was that for me. I was like, Gotti. I did other ones. Gotti, Ballistic X versus Sever, like some of these problem child. There's 0% movie. Like, that's not a 0% movie. Left like, behind. Let, well. That's not a, is that, was that 0%? Uh, that was 2% total. Oh, no. <laughs> it was 2% total. That's what I was thinking. American Ninja, yeah. Deadfall, that was 0%? Poison Rose. Yeah. Oh, I would say all those. None of those yeah. deserve yeah. to be zero. They don't deserve someone to be deserves, zero. Yeah. Someone out there should have liked one of those movies. Mm -hmm. Orndorff. MVP conversation. Like, someone needs to say. <laughs> fucking MVP is there. 40 40. You tell me one of these people can't break <laughs> fucking American Ninja That's off. Amazing, yeah. One good review. A three out of five. Not even asking uh, for a five out of five. For a movie that's over 30 years old. Like nobody, no modern person has watched it and said, you know what? That's bullshit. That's I'm insane. Gonna... Um not saying the makings of a great cinephobe movie, but a making of a cinephobe movie. Simply a Happy Madison production. Oh, yeah. I thought about coming We've up got with a lot of Happy Madison productions. Adam Sandler and an $80 million check. Uh, let's hear <laughs> Adam Sandler. And the like greatest. I said, a Happy Madison production. <laughs> yeah. Adam Sandler, <laughs> the greatest hits of the 80s. Yeah. Um, how about Ryan Reynolds bantering his ass off? Ooh. So Ryan yeah. Red Notice, Blade Trinity, Green R. Lantern, R. Waiting, RIPD. Well, not a million ways because he just has a non-speaking role. But if you're Ryan Reynolds bantering your ass off in a movie, chances are you have all the makings. Mm -hmm. Any movie that Zach saw as a teenager or Amin went to with his brother. <laughs> yep. Yep. Does Zach have to have seen it with Bill Harper or just... I he didn't... Just no, because he didn't no, go to... I snuck into barbed wire. Yeah, he didn't go to barbed wire with, yeah. with Pop. That was a solo mission twice. It sure was. <laughs> Sure was a solo mission. Um, <laughs> did you did you like reach over to the other guys next to you? Like, 
I don't know you. Made sure that I had a buffer around me. You got to have space. And you explore that space, but you got to have space. Explore that. (laughs) Just just start clawing away, pawing into the unknown. I hope Uh, I feel something. Gratuitous. Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. It's got to be and, in there. And, and it's, uh, it's cousin Gratua Nips. Mm-hmm. Gratua Nips, always big. Well, they're not always big, but you know. Well, they usually are. If they're if you're seeing Gratua Nips, they're never small. No, they're never, but should... they're powerful. Yeah. I thought I thought Zach would have to have some extra conditions to his uh, his number one. So I, I said a scientist. I said some human clothes. And I said a kidnapping because I'm pretty sure each one of them oh, has yeah. been kidnapped. Um, Ed got kidnapped. MVP didn't Jack get kidnapped. Got kidnapped. He didn't get kidnapped. Well, he they, got sent they, off. They tried to kidnap him. Oh yeah, I guess they tried. Yeah, attempt, attempted kidnapping. Yeah, and then Roscoe, I guess he was kidnapped no, he in was the first escaped. place. Uh yeah, I guess technically uh, it's, it's adjacent. But yeah, I thought I wouldn't I thought mind would that add a little more story. to it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that origin story. Of and then, th- and then I, I'm looking at this, and th- this is on there. Something so problematic that it only could have existed in the 20th century, bitch. And you know, we've got a lot of movies on there. And then I put tiptoes <laughs> down, man. and I had to double check, and tiptoes was 2003. No. So I have to take but that back. TOCB. Still, TOCB was. It's was. something so problematic that it could not exist in the 21st century, ma'am. I guess would be my yeah. answer uh, for tw- that. 20, 20th century, bitch, is walking proudly. And TOCB is just one step behind off to the side of off to the right side because that's the right hand man, woman, person. Oh, right for, hand arm man. Yeah. For our man, little yeah. bunny rabbit. Of, of 20 C B. Yeah. Silly rabbit. Silly it's, rabbit. You're what? what? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. Um we kind of said this. Well, I guess this is a variation, but bingo kids. Yeah. Bingo Kids is a big part of it. D2, uh, Problem Child, all those bingo kids. Major bingo. Major once, bingo. Upon a, once upon a time, Catholicism was all the makings of a, <laughs> of a cinema movie. Yep, absolutely. Not so much recently, but. Mm-mm. God, I want to watch Retribution again. <laughs> I might go do that right now. Does it qualify? It absolutely qualifies. Okay. I was Wait. so excited. What is this it? not available? That's why you can't pick it yet. Yeah, I, wa- it I watched of... it on. I watched it on a plane, so it's still it's a rental now. Got you. But yeah, whenever it, it comes, God, even the even the poster, dude. I, and he like I'm telling you, you keep saying, "Oh, it's when he's taking movies." It's very different from Taken. It. It's very. Well, different. now you're not selling me. <laughs> no, but I'm. Whoa. What the? F- Sorry, I just found a very disturbing photo of Liam Neeson that I need to share with you guys. I don't know what's going on here. It's some weird also, exactly. Here. Remember, I told you about the it's in the Valley of Sinners and Saints or whatever, and we're like, yeah. "Oh, when does this come out?" It's the reviews are in, and it does Hold not on. qualify. What is going on in this photo? What is this? Why did <laughs> what did his what did this mustache do to his neck? Uh, oh, come on, man! What did it do? My man's getting older, man. I don't like this. I know, I but like he this. looks incredible for an old man. Like he 90% looks, like, of he the looks time. like he looks like Michael Douglas in Las Vegas. <laughs> No, be respectful. Future be be res- I agree. I agree. Be respectful. <laughs> this the the movie poster for Retribution. I just sent it to the chat. Is ass off. It touched up the light. His eyes. Um, dude, that's that's. Look like, at that. The look. You see the fire and flames and everything. Me, by the, the way, that is an the, actual scene. That's not like I, that's I, not I just it. photoshopping. That's a scene. But I'm telling you, like we don't get to see Liam Neeson afraid in any of these movies. Mm-mm. At most, he's angry or irritated, but he always seems to be in control. In this movie, he plays afraid, man. Mm. And and I'm telling you, you're like, wait, I don't want to see Liam Neeson be afraid. Trust me, because we you know what happens when he gets afraid. He gets angry. Mm-hmm. And, that, and now and we're the, back. And you know what happens when he gets angry? He starts ambling. Yes. It's yes. all the makings. <laughs> of Special a set of skills. Oh, this is one of episode. Sure. I feel like uh, ambling. Ambling should have made it. Well, I picked Liam. Neeson. Liam. Liam That's Neeson. What I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, but he's, he's just calling every single yeah. one. Yeah. Liam Neeson. Quick cuts, hand to hand, ambling. Special set of skills. 
Make sure you send us your CT5 list for all the makings. Uh, you can do that on Twitter at Talk Hoops, at Darth Amin, at Corn Puzzle, at Cinephil Pot, at Count the Dings, or in the Discord by being a Patreon subscriber, patreon.com slash Count the Dings. Next time we make love, you introduce me to Jade.